and of course the best known facts about each Cuban province each Cuban province so let's start first we're gonna start with some general facts about Cuba and uh, then we continue with each provinces each province of Cuba but first when you think about Cuba you think about good quality room good cigars classic cars and salsa music right well actually Cuba is more than that but uh, speaking about cigar, cigars well cigars are a way of life in Cuba Cuban tobacco or cigars are famous in the world and they are not made only for exports they are also made for local consumption in average 75% of the Cuban people are smoking cigars almost daily another fact is that one of the most fun facts is about Cuba that is the one of the very few places where that you can find classic American cars classic American cars American cars and why is that? because these date back to before the communist revolution and as a result of American embargo which soft car exports to the island restricted so as a result Cubans were prohibited to import American cars and had to make to do what they had to rely on ingenuity to fix the old cars so keep them going another fact is that Cuba is home to many of popular cocktails for instance one of the cocktails is made from rum and coke and it's named Cuba Libre which is very famous also around the world this cocktail Cuba Libre and it's originated back in the Spanish American War when Coca-Cola was first imported to Cuba internet and Wi-Fi it's limited in Cuba and while Cuba may be open to tourism it still got a very restricted or authoritarian government which means that access to the internet is very regulated and restricted from 1969 to 1998 Cuba didn't have the luxury to celebrate the Christmas the Cuban leader Fidel Castro prohibited any form of religious celebrations so from 
Five U.S. presidents have tried in the past to buy Cuba, but each of them were refused. Their names were James Polk, William McKinley, Frank Pierce, Franklin Pierce, James Buchanan Jr., and Ulysses S. Grant. They offered between $100 million and $300 million at that time, but they were refused every time, so Cuba is not for sale. And uh, Cuba is also renowned for some of the past century events. One of them is the Cuban Missile Crisis. Cuban Missile Crisis. Cuban Missile Crisis. And it's also known as October Crisis. In 1962, 1962 was a confrontation during the Cold War between Cuba and United States in which the Soviet Union supported Cuba with missiles. The crisis is often considered as the closest point of the Cold War came to escalating in a full-scale war in Russia. In Russia, the crisis is known as the Caribbean Crisis or Cuban Nuclear Missile Crisis. Well, these were the general facts about Cuba. And now let's move to study each provinces of Cuba and, of course, to expose the best known facts about each region. And we're going to start with the first one, which is Pinar del Rio, Pinar del Rio. All right, let's drop the contour of Pinar del Rio. The capital is the city with the same name, Pinar del Rio. And now the facts. The area of Pinar del Rio is famous for producing tobacco and many of the best plantations in the world are, are located here. This is also known as a neurological site records for Cuba indigenous people. The name Pinar del Rio it owes the names to the great amount of enormous pines, pine trees that are filling the almost entire zone or province. Good. Now let's move next. Nearby we have Artemisa. Well actually on this map on this map Artemisa it's not uh, presented so it's near Havana, it's like here, Artemisa. Artemisa, Artemisa, Artemisa. Artemisa is famous for hosting the Eco Village, Eco -village of Las Terrazas, a huge natural space in the Reserva de las Biosfera de la Sierra del Rosario. It's full of historical sites, lakes and waterfalls. Artemisa, it's a green province whose main attraction is its wild and tropical nature. Due to its coffee crops, coffee crops in the past and the bucolic local landscape, it has received the nickname Artin. Artin del Cuba. Right. Next province we're going to talk it's Havana or Habana, La Habana, which is right here and holds the city with the same name, which is also the capital, the renowned Havana or Habana in Spanish. Well, and now the fact. 
Islands and other ones. Top to the Paris of the Caribbean for its beautiful architecture, arts and flourishing nightlife. Thinking of Havana facts, did you know that Ernst Hemingway used to live here? Together with his cats, outside for 20 years, 20 years, he lived in Havana. Well, the world's biggest ballet school is also in Havana, the Cuban National Ballet School. In Havana was founded in 1931 and has approximately 3,000 students annually. Havana is known as the Ciudad de las Columnas or City of Columns. And another fact, the Havana Hilton Hotel was once the tallest and largest hotel in Latin America. And it boasts 630 rooms, guest rooms. Right, now let's move next because nearby we have the province of Mayapec. Well, Mayapec and it's written like in this Maya Peck and it's right here in this location let's draw the contour it splits Artemis and Maya Peck it's splitting the Havana region in two so we have Maya Peck Mayapec is the smallest province of Cuba. It is a productive place of citrus fruits, snuff, wine and grapes and sugarcane for Havana Club. Yeah. They export or they transfer all the sugarcane for the distilleries in the province for the Havana Clubs. San Jose de las Lajas. The city is known as primarily as a commercial and manufacturing center for the pastoral lands. Good. Now let's move next. We have Matanzas. 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 Which is right nearby. Matanzas. Let's draw the contour. Matanzas, the city with the same name. Well, the Matanzas, it's founded, was founded in, nine, in 1693. In 1693. And it was a pirate. Once was a pirate heaven. Pirate heaven. The city of Matanzas was a pirate heaven by early 19th century and had become the Cuba second most industrialized city. Matanzas has been called in the last century the Athens of Cuba because of its active cultural institutions and because of the many scholars and artists who have worked there. Among Cuban provinces. Matanzas is one of the most industrialized with petroleum wells, refineries and super tanker facilities. It has 21 sugar mills to process the harvest of the fields of sugarcane. As a rough material for the room making. Right. Good. Let's move nearby. We have Cienfuegos. Cienfuegos, let's draw the contour. Cienfuegos or One Under Fires. Cienfuegos is one of the chief seaports in Cuba. Yeah, the capital. And is a center of sugar trade as well as coffee and tobacco trade. While sugarcane is the chief crop, local farmers are 
Kui has become the largest interior city of Cuba. It is an important communication and industrial center. In 2008, the old town was designated UNESCO World Heritage Site because of its irregular mess like city planning. Its prominent role of helping early Spanish colonization, architecture, and its showing a variety of Spanish influences. Camagui. Camagui. All right, time to move next. We have. Santiago de Cuba is well. 
well known for its traditional music. Music. Most notably, Son. Son, from which salsa has been derived. Salsa has been derived. The province is rich in materials resources such as iron and nickel. The economy, however, relies mostly on agriculture with large plantation growing. Bananas, cacao and coffee. Right. Let's move next. We have here Guantanamo. The next region is Guantanamo. Thank you.